starting out as a newly elected county supervisor often means getting up to speed on many critical issues fast. At the California State Association of Counties 2012 New Supervisors Institute in Long Beach, newly elected officials attended a day-long course packed with great content designed to provide a first-rate orientation to the big job they've taken on. Stay above it all. You're a policymaker at 30,000 feet. Keep your eye on the big picture and the long term, not your term, the long term for your county. Take the time to get to know your entire county and understand your colleagues' priorities and the things that are unique to their district. People liked what you had to say when you ran for office. They, they wanted to hear your perspective and they elected you. So your job is now to go out and make that happen. The first thing I'm going to tell you is be humble. Everybody in this room, you don't put your name on a ballot and ask people to vote for you if you don't have an ego. We all have an ego. But you've got to be humble. From listening comes wisdom. From speaking comes repentance. When I'm in a position where I want to yap and, and tell you what I think, it, it, it might, there's a little thing that goes off my head saying, you, you might want to shut up and listen to what they have to say. So when you really be quiet and listen to what somebody else has to say, you're actually empowering them to believe you know what you're talking about, even though you're listening. So, so just that first 30 days, you know, resist the temptation to remind everybody why you got elected. Your community expects results. County government and county service is a results-oriented enterprise. Polling at the local level, there's so much support for local officials to get things done because we can break those uh, partisan lines. We can reach across a, 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 you know, a, a, across a dais and try and make things work. Your job now as the leader in their elected representative is to build bridges, patch those political divides, get to know everyone in your county, the people who weren't your base, you need to make your base. Pay attention to everything. You don't have time to sit back and say, well, I can settle in. You have to be settled in and moving on everything. I think I read three to six inches of paper every day, plus my emails and all the stuff that comes across the electronic media and it's a formidable task. Campaigning is the easy part and governing is the hard part. And one of the real advantages of a class like this is the ability to meet other people that are going through not just the same experience, but also can bring a breadth of resources. As things have been cut at the city and county level, it's important to know that you've got partnerships throughout the state to kind of leverage these partnerships and resources to be uh, to govern more effectively. And it's laying the foundation, and I think that's the key for me, is it's creating that uh, very general knowledge of a lot of different things. I've got a ton of notes in my binder already about what I'm going to be going back and asking uh, not only my county administrator as well as department heads both elected and appointed uh, as to how do we do it in Solano County. The new Supervisors Institute is only one of 75 classes that CSAC provides throughout the year to equip the leaders who are taking on the many challenges and opportunities facing California counties. For more information visit csac.counties.org.